my. <laughs> Wait, I don't remember where the where I was and where I've been. Oh, nice. Uh, welcome back, by <laughs> by the way, everyone. Marathon. We'll start off with some light reading. Sorry if I was I was trying to figure out if everything was still working, so I just sort of like dry dry started. You know what I mean? Can you? What we got here? Cohesion. The Crist Soul Orbiters. The Crist Soul Orbiters, or cargo and resource in system transports, were huge ships shaped like a hollow potato and uh, designed to be able to move huge amounts of material between Earth and Mars with low cost and theoretically low maintenance. The system was simple. The Crist was put into orbit around Sol on the plane of the elliptical, elliptic, or ecliptic. Uh, built with a powerful solar sail, the Crist could change its orbit easily to pass by the Earth or Mars. On a flyby, materials could be loaded or offloaded. The energy used to accelerate or decelerate the materials would be supplied by the solar sail. A loading was accomplished with a giant tether and reel system. Oh. Which would swing the material into orbit behind the crest and th then reel it in slowly. Offloading was accomplished with a powerful ion beam, which would pound the offloading material with a steady stream of ion particles. The design of the crest was innovative and useful, but it was not low maintenance. Of the five crests that were built, four lasted around 100 years, and the other one only 73 before they needed to be brought back to Earth and refitted. Each refitting took about 15 years, and completely occupied the Earth space shipbuilding facility for that time. The result was that no more than five uh, crests could be kept in service at the time. No Chris has ever built after 2310. The Chris failures, uh, failures just devastated Mars. As the first five Chris were built, Mars colony grew quickly, confident that the growth would continue. But when the source of the Mars resources failed, the colony found that it had overgrown its supportable size. The extreme poverty struck most of the population each time the Chris broke down. The result was famine on Mars. The conversion of Demos into a Marathon began when the Mars colony was at height of its power. By the time it was completed 64 years later, the decline of Mars was well advanced. During that time, the Martian population had seen its standard of living drop by 80%. On top of oppressive poverty, Martians saw one of their moons being converted into a colony ship in an expensive and risky colony venture, which was pro predominantly funded by the ruling so uh, foreign power. The argument to make the marathon into a Christ became more and more popular, but the UESC never seriously considered this an option. The farther that Mars sank into the depths of poverty, the more that marathon became a symbol for the oppression of the Martian people. The Declining Martian World after the Marathon left Mars, the UESC's attentions focused primarily on technological development and the upkeep of the Crist. Mars was left to decay. Population continued to increase as attempts at mandating abortion or sterilization always started revol revolt. Always started a revolt. Oh, and attempts at mandating. Okay, that makes sense now. Where are you? Oh! <laughs> oh! I stuck up on that one, huh? Mmm, I forgot where things are. That's okay. I imagine uh, we're here to activate some things, right? Touch a few things. Aggro them. Ooh, health bar. Oh, is it out of health juice? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. You just gotta hold it and look at it just right. Otherwise, death. Wait, wait, I think we actually want to be up here. All right. 
Don't look at map to show me my objectives. Couch fishing. What? Oh, I don't need to push it ever again. <laughs> what was this guy up to, huh? Oh, it's dark over there. I did it. That's one of many. I'm assuming it opened something over here, and that's why that wasn't there before. Oh. Spooky, scary skeletons. I'm just double checking. I know that this loops back around. The ship is designed weirdly, all right? Huh. <laughs> that ammo pickup scared me. Hmm, a passage leading down. I don't think I want to go down just yet. What? What was that? Was that a secret? Ah, I could smell it. Get some full up on everything else. Why does it auto close? That's kind of weird, right? Oh, this just goes in a circle. Wait a minute. Who designed this place? This place is stupid. All right, what's the red door then? Oh, let's go downstairs and check that out. Oh, what is this? Oops, <laughs> sorry. Seems to be a design flaw. It goes into a dead end that does nothing. Same thing. Alright. Well, if that's everything up here... Yeah. It's old school games. You gotta use maps, man. If you don't use the map, you probably played the game a lot and just memorize it really well. Or have a good, like... Memory. Hey, what's this? Oh, I touched that one. Are all these things touched? Do I just need to touch the panel now? I'd be surprised if I got it done already. But let's go ahead. Huh? All right. What is, is this different now? Ah, oh, yeah. Mr. from Leela. I have some bad news. Durandell has gone rampant. Oh, you already told me that. All right. So there's one there. No. That's where I am at. There's the first one upstairs. I got that one. I don't think I got that one. And I definitely got that one. I remember that one. So the one I'm missing is the one that's like downstairs. Right next to me. Is it downstairs? Or is it right around this corner? What it looks like. Right here? Yes. And here. Oh, I already pushed this one. Wait a minute. I gotta be forgetting something, right? Oh! Lord, these are coming. They've learned how to use gun technology. I missed. Of course I missed. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We made it. We got the lower blue seal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Die, you cybernetic scum. Alien terrorist fiends of Wu. Gotcha. Right in the face. Right in the face. They're just hiding around the corner waiting for me to come around. They didn't have the common decency to fight me fairly into my face. Where was it? I know one of these goes down. Aha. And now we play the waiting game. Yeah. Oh, does it go up and down or does it just messing with me? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Calm. Calm. Collected. Brazil. Is it off? It is off now. I got to run over there like a freak. Apparently. There you go. All this manual door knobbering is really quite taking the toll. Ooh, game save. And this? What's that do? 
Oh, it opened up that door. Oh, where? Same thing. But there's a hole there, Billy boy. Oh, it's... It's fine. Oh, oh! Terrorist fiends! Gotcha. Ooh, they almost got me. They got me halfway. They knew that this would surprise me. That's why they left the health station. Oh, 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 hold on. You gotta not move your head while using it. That's the trick. And what's down there? Looks like there's an elevator back up. Do I want to go down there? Do I want to hang out up here? I kind of want to go down there. There's gotta be something important down there, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't make it down there. <gasps> A little gravity. Interesting that this game didn't have jump. It's like it had everything else but that. They didn't think about it. But then again, this is one of the first games that had this. The up and down. Multi-level design. Was this 1997? I can't even remember. I didn't play it. I never played it. I was a wee nino doing crazy nino things. He approaches. Oh, oh. Gotcha. <laughs> the old handicap switcheroo. Oh, and it turns out there was nothing down there. Right? I ran around. Oh, there was a little bit of ammo and I got it. Or I didn't need it. We're fine. Everything's fine. You know what I'm going to do? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Oh, no. Oh, hey. Huh. There is no pause functionality. There's only play and quit. Sucks, because I really would like to adjust the volume of the game. And I forgot to do that. Although the volume's fine. The volume's actually fine. The volume of the music is what I was interested in. I had a funny feeling about that wall. I was like, secret? health down here. Hmm. Interesting. What if we tap F on everything? Then they couldn't stop us, could they? Four. Give me strength. There's still enemies in here doing things. Where are you? Show yourselves. Alright. Just that robot left. Need to be an insane freak job. Hold on. Trying to snipe him. He moves too well. He's beginning to believe. Damn, there's some delays on this round. Oh, he's got a grenade launcher too? All right, he's finally dead. Brutal. He didn't tell me the robots were gonna show up and start shooting tubes at me. Some heads up next time, AI? Maybe. I just met you and this is crazy. Probably a secret down there, but I didn't know any better. Measures from Leela. Durando has been denied access to some of the critical computer systems. 
This should ensure the mobility and reliability of the defense drones. Unfortunately, I have received a distress signal from some crew who had sealed themselves off in one of the nearby access areas. They say that they have lost control over the doors and elevators on the level, and that the four have access to the area. It appears that Durandal has uh, react, uh, reacted to our move against him by giving the four access to a formerly secure area. We will have to deal with Durandal sooner or later but we can't be distracted from the four attack. I only hope that his rampant behavior won't continue to sabotage our defense efforts. I am sending you to go and save these crew. Clear the area of aliens. If enough of the crew survive, then perhaps we can get an intelligence report from them. End message, jump pad activated. Let's go. Oh boy. A whole new world. I wish I knew all that stuff. Oh god. I'm helping. Save the crew. Big guys down. They're still chasing after him. I helped out somewhat. No one up here though. Wait, did I read this? This is where I showed up at. Yeah, hold on. Your mission here is simple. Keep as many humans as possible from being killed. Exterminate every alien in the area. You can only leave after the area is secure. There are some defense drones in the area, but I'm I am not sure what condition they are in, or how much help there will be. This is your current location. There are crew engaged in combat right next to your current position. Use a pattern buffer at this location as soon as possible. You can leave by this terminal when you have secured the area. It's way over there, in the goofy section. I'm not sure any crew survived that battle. There's a whole bunch of explosives and goofy things happening. Well. Door's broken. I flipped those switches. What do they do? Engaging! Stay on target. Yeah, these humans are kind of dead. I can tell. They're usually not covered in blood and also have faces. Usually. I'm not trying to discriminate against faceless people that like to cover themselves in blood. I'm just saying, it's not common. What's this? Hmm? Where? Whoa, whoa, freak jobs. Aha! Joke's on you, Sally Jesse Raphael. Ow! That thing hurt. I'm not sure I appreciated him. That seems like a mistake. I think I'll leave those on. I like being able to see. It's a new thing I'm into. Alright. Interesting. <laughs> the barrels do anything, because I feel like they're not doing their job. I can save my game here at least. 
Hello, secrets? Secrets and lies? Elmo's world? Alright, I'll trust them for now. So far, honestly, I don't like what's going on around here. So those, those blue things that blew up earlier I thought were shooting at me were actually security drones. move trying to run past that while grenades are flying at it that, that dude's crazy i think i like him security drone dudes that are alive oh they appear as green dots nice hold on we need to we need to get on this i'm gonna get on let, thank you they're everywhere oh no Relax, pick up a gun, maybe throw some bullets at him or something. Pick up one of those spears, maybe. Oops, wrong button. There you go. That probably helped out a lot, am I right, huh? How do you guys feel about that? I have no idea what I did. But it has to be helping, right? They want to add a button that does nothing. Okay, can't go that way. Whoa! I really wish these hallways were more well lit. At least they're slow. I like the hunters in Halo. But these pre-hunters, they hit hard. I mean, I guess the hunters in Halo hit hard too. I think in Halo 1. Like, if they regular hit you, you know, that was it. Oh! They shoot their own men! Oh, I don't think he made it. Think about it. Who there? Someone's coming. All right. Nothing Magoo left. That's the way I like them. I like my aliens to be mushy and on the ground. With all this walking around and shooting at me business that gets me upset. Gets me a little freaky fettuccine. Huh? Sure. I hear violence. I don't see violence, though. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, it's you. How does the pistol fare against these guys? Especially if I shoot them in the face. Think about it. Think about it. Alright. It might not be worth it. I got a lot of ammo for pistol, though. Looks like I just I can just keep on carrying clips of this stuff. And have it all, all day. Dang, he took two clips though. That's kind of, it's kind of. I'm just worried about the ones in front of me for now. All right, he's he's. I guess I may have hurt, damaged his sensors because he started walking away from me for a little while. Oh, good. Calm down, everyone calm down, Get, gather together. Sorry, killed the human, couldn't be helped. Good job, drones. You guys didn't kill humans, unlike me, who killed a few already, I bet, with my grenade launcher rounds. I saw big guys over here. There they are. Do they have problem going, jumping down like freaks? 
Oh. Oh, that was only weak. Nice. The game's finally giving me ammo and things to shoot. Gotcha. Hey, hey, hey. You thought you'd enter stealthfully up there, did you? Hold on, let me target this properly. Boom. Now they're up there by themselves. I gotta find an elevator, though. And more ammo. That's not a good idea, sir. Maybe he's gonna kill him. Stank. The exploding robot killed me. Now I don't remember what I was or what I was doing. Oh, now I remember. Everything's fine. Except it's not. Because I can't go that way. Uh, my horse for a health terminal. Oh. <gasps> they were holding out on me. Oh, this barrel's falling over. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Health, health, juice, a stim pack, an apple, something. A pow pie fruit. I don't, I'm not, I'm not demanding. Leave them all on. Why do they turn off after a while? That's something out there that's opening. that button open the door? Alright, I just can't go back up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just open that again. That's weird how that button opens the door. But also, you can just touch the door and it opens. This is where it was last time. Oh. Oh God. Something shot me. This ain't good. I need that health now more than ever. Someone's still alive down there? There you go. Health biscuits, please. <laughs> Something. Anything. Some kind of dream machine? Oh man, the one dude I saved over here, I didn't, didn't save him this time. I don't even know what that button does. I think it activates this elevator over here. Gotta be a little bit more careful. I turn off the light over there, that's right. Completely useless to turn it off. No idea what's going on over here. I'm gonna go down here again. That powers that elevator. This door has mysterious ways about it. You can push this button to activate the secret room. There's a bunch of ammo in it. That's useful. But I can't go back up here. Alright, I just gotta be more careful. Something... I think one of the robots... I think I stood in front of the robots.
Gotta be careful with behind me as well. Yeah, this guy. And everyone up this way. What health is up here? Ooh! The visibility. Alright. We got some ammo in an elevator. Man, the marathon symbol is everywhere in marathon. They like it. <laughs> there it is. There's a health station way over here. That's what we needed. Now that we're here, explore. <laughs> dead people. A lot of them. Very dead. We can save our game now. Full health save. Nice. Leela, what do you have to say? Mr. from Leela. You have not su uh, sufficiently secured the area. There are civilians who are still in danger. Okay, so this is where I need to come. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to talk to you again. Uh, the civilians, they're exploding. Help them, you coward, right? I'm just like, but Leela, how? Whoa! Slap boy came in. Came in spicy. All right, I'm up here now. I'm behind the backdrops, getting warm. Really, no secret up here? Just up here, up here is just for fun? We're just having a laugh? What is that room for? I wanna know what that room's for. This leads me full circle back to here, so we're not gonna do that, because I think that's just gonna be longer to get back to where I was. Alright, come on down. This way, that way. And now we know we had gotta go come back to these stairs to leave this place. Alright, the trick here is simple. Let the robot absorb some of the blows. Run, Forrest, run! Get him. Get him, robot. Get him. Oh, why can't I retreat? Oh, the robot was right behind me for some reason. The dying robot killed the big guy. Math is on my side. Iron helps us play. Got him. <laughs> Alright, that's definitely what that button over here does. That is definitely the elevator button. It's not moving at all. Not until we, oops. Not until we, yes. And what's down here? Nothing, right? Nothing but lies and death. Dead humans. Whoa! Okay, it's you. <laughs> it's you. Jenkins, you live. Now get back to second squad position. You bunghole. God. Just gooify him. Just gooify him. They don't like goo, and I don't like them. You like that? Okay. About almost a clip. I want to say like three fourths of a clip and like three or four grenades seems to deal with the big guys all right. <laughs> oh god, he brought a friend. Watching my angles. Fun times. Alright. I'm searching. I'm touching walls. I'm pushing the buttons. Just in case. <laughs> Space! <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> I got too excited. Oh no! Oh! I dodged it. 
just in time. That's two for one. Go ahead. Oh, no. You got me. I got you back, though. Seems about right. Three-fourths of a clip and four grenades. I like those exchange ratios. There's a ship out there. Look at that. Is that an alien ship? Is that another version of the, um, uh, what's it called? The Marathon? Oh, God. Oh, Lord, he is coming. Okay. Well, the humans are absorbing the alien explosions for me a little bit, so it's fine. Whoa! That was close. Wait, dude, could you get away from him? Dang it. Well, picked up ammo at least. It's like he's trying to hug him to death. There you go, that separated them. It's like, dude, I'm trying to save you. It's not easy if you're going to be standing right next to the aliens I'm shooting at. Don't you know that they're your enemy? They kind of want to kill you? You think all the violent gunfire and the dead bodies everywhere have been a dead giveaway? Dead giveaway. That's not... Let's not be rude. Were the humans just hanging out in there with the aliens not doing anything? Did you see that? Assuming a lot. If I had to guess. Pull back a little bit. Get that long range shot in there. Go. That's right, look at me. Look at me, I'm shooting you. They see me. Just gonna clean them up from a distance. No! Jenkins, get down! Alright, he's just frozen in fear on the staircase. Great, now I'm gonna die. Lovely. Health! Health! a whole lot of fighting over here with very little health. The big dudes kind of hit hard. Oh, it's humans. They don't just start running around getting in the way. What is that? Can I have that? Can you guys move? Oh, no way. You're literally making barriers. Oh my god. F to move? No, I have to kill them. There you go. All of a sudden, now they're real. What about you guys? That's nothing. It's a biohazard. It's fine. And they're all free now. They're all wild. Well. Yeah, I shot you. He's mad now. Look at that precision. You boys could learn a thing or two from me. So all the blue dots are good guys, right? Okay, yeah. 
Well, keep screaming about it. Maybe that'll help. Hold on. Nope, not that button. There we go. There's space. Is the area clear? I'm assuming it is. I've been everywhere now. I want to go back and get health now, though. Before we leave. Which, if I remember correctly, is close to the exit. Alright. Well, I'm going to go now. You guys have been fun. I'm surprised there wasn't a new weapon on this level, seeing as the amount of enemies they threw at me. Get off of me! Why do you guys count as solid objects? Lame sauce. The sauce for the lame. Okay. Where am I? Who am I? Why am I here? Right? We come up here. We go this way. There you are. <laughs> Technology of the past. Desa everywhere. Let's go ahead and save right here so we don't have to do any of that all over again. Alright, now. You have allowed too many of the civilians to be killed. It is doubtful that any of the survivors will give us any useful information. What do you... Ah, okay, whatever. That the aliens seem to have been caught off guard by the strength of our counterattack. There are so many dudes still alive. What are you talking about? There was like three on this floor and like eight on the other floor. What do you want? Anywho. Caught off guard by the strength of our counterattack. This is good news. But I have detected more ships landing on the marathon, and I fear that the aliens are reinforcing their efforts. Jump pad activated. Oh lord. Oh, come on, that's fair, yeah. Right into the mouth. Alright, I handled that pretty better than before. They, she could have warned me that she was teleporting me into a position where enemies were. She's so just like, I'm afraid. Too many people died. Anywho, you did your best. Let's move on. Alien information over here, maybe. Message from Leela. Time is limited. There is a large group of heavily armed Fowler approaching the section of the ship where I have transported you. Their only logical destination is the sensitive engineering areas of the aft section of the ship. As we are not yet in a position to halt their advance by force, I have decided to depressurize a large area in their path in order to slow their progress. Unfortunately, I cannot remotely seal the airlocks and isolate the zone I wish to depressurize from the nearby living quarters. Exposing this area to space without first isolating it would kill hundreds of human crew. You will have to go and close the doors. Aw, oh, yeah. This is the current location you must find another computer terminal to exit from. I am unable to activate the teleportation mechanism from this terminal. Okay, so you can't exit from this one. Got it. This is the first airlock you must seal. Uh, the switch which controls it is located on the wall adjacent to the door. Make certain it closes completely before continuing. Ah. Adjacent. Wait a minute. The switch which controls it located on the wall is adjacent. Okay. So it should be... I think I see the not notch on the map for it. Uh, this is the second door. Again, make certain it's completely closed. There's two doors. One to the far right. One to the left. Let's do this. There's a bug over there. <laughs> it's coming. He's mad. Big man. Who's there? Okay. These dudes are dead, mostly. Hold on. There you go. Turn on run mode. Oh, these are the humans. Oh, they're in fridge boxes. They're green across the board, though.
There you go. Huh. Oh. What were they doing in here, though? Scattering papers? That's a weird thing for robots to want to do. Really? Huh. I mean, they're not robots, they're aliens, so I guess maybe paper is more sacred when you scatter it? I don't know. I don't know. I just work here, alright? <laughs> A goo! I start checking the map more often instead of just clicking on all the walls, hoping for good luck. There's a rhyme and reason to this. Turn system goof. I kind of want to explore down to south first. You know what I mean? I want to go over here. This seems the way I'm supposed to go. I want to go this way. Right? Yeah. Both these doors. There's a doorway over here that I missed. Oops. Is it this way? Right? It is. I thought this ended. Can I open? My bad. Didn't know I had to reload. Alright. What's on this one? Ah, unauthorized access alarm. Trace prohib uh, the date. <laughs> Prohibition. Compensated. Rit... 15, border of the Roman Empire to the du uh, uh, Dunab River during the skirmish with barbarians and retain uh, the mountains near the Burof, modern France and Switzerland. 117 men under Gaius Lucius Mark uh, 233 uh, inch of weird and frightening monsters under his control. Many successfully raid sect Resecti? <laughs> Round, oh, I've never seen this word before. That, the fall of the Roman Empire, and remained unmolested until the ninth un. Ridden is on the Lex Vita. Clovis moved the settlement further south, I the mountains, near the spring, to escape the notice of Charlemagne, and later the Holy Roman Empire. Clovis remained Ifkuk. Dibbity dibbity, in 1902... And Frederick just recently, both, however, carried out reforms before their deaths, which slowly integrated their peoples secretly into world society, which are now scattered all over the globe to meet only once every seven years in southeast France. Heave must be chosen. Trace mode, heave breach disabled, access denied, location sandwich, paparazzi. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I can be your paparazzi. This is basically what it was trying to tell me. Oh. The easy way. Why is it? Why is this this? Oh, okay. Ooh. A save terminal. Let's go down here then. Fast, silent, but deadly. Oh, 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 o
was the mission itself. Okay, got it. Now I can escape via the tiniest elevator ever conceived by man. Please? I have to go you push the button, don't I? I'm gonna be so upset if I got off that thing and it immediately reactivated. Help. Okay. Alright, Bungie. I don't know what you guys were smoking back then, but the elevators could have used work, alright? Could have used a little love, I think. This place, this is the living quarters, man. It's designed like a jungle mage, uh, maze. Like, what is going on, man? How is anyone supposed to relax when they have to, like, whip out their map in order to go use the bathroom? I feel like I'm playing Minecraft and I'm searching the area my friend mined out when I was offline. You know what I mean? I'm going to go in there and clean it up and make a straight, straight tunnel through it. Is this the main road? Yes, it is. Thank the maker. Here we are. The mausoleum of the Arbiter. What's this? Whoa! Copernicus! Oh! And we like that, right? We like having the blue ones up and the green ones down, is that what you're telling me? I come I felt like it was like Lego Star Wars when you complete the model and it's about to explode and shoot out a bunch of coins. This puzzle's a little tricky. Oops, not that one. He can stop a midway. Well, that changes everything. Right about chair. No, stop. All right, now the trick here is that one up again it's fine and now right all right now oh no no I want to live. Uh, 
Then tells me I gotta push both buttons. both of them. Yeah. Rude. And I'm low on health. What was this? Cleveland, I, good work. I'll begin the decompression process in a moment. I have finished debriefing the civilian crew you rescued a few hours ago. They are only grouped to survive prolonged contact with the aliens that I have been able to talk with. They maintain that the aliens were loading as many humans as possible into shuttlecraft and flying them to the forward mothership. I have watched many such shuttles bringing supplies to the aliens, but had no idea they were carrying humans back to the alien ship. I will brief you more on our next mission. When you arrive, you may not be exactly where I want you to end up because there's interference in the computer net. Good luck. Oh, good. We're done. It didn't feel like we were done, but we were. Is this where you wanted me? This looks fairly neural netty. I don't think there was a single health terminal in that other place. Oh, I think I need to know what I need to do. I think I know. Maybe not. I thought I could shoot the buttons. Oh, he killed his friend out of anger and frustration. Okay. Apparently... You're supposed to do this. Neat. Did not know that. How come... That's weird. I'm guessing, I'm guessing back in the day, this is one of those things where, like, you look in the manual. I bet it's in the manual. It will tell you. You're on reachable switches. You get hit with a grenade launcher around. I'm gonna go ahead and close that door. Close that door. I want to push all these other buttons just in case. Ooh. Times two. <gasps> Over health. Nice. That is the best thing ever. Hold on. Safety first. Oh, oh. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. There you go. Pistiola, I think. Ooh, a terminal. Hold on. There's one more button in this party. Nice. Decent. Rude dudes. Ganging up on me like that? It's okay. I tubed him. New weapon. Ah, this must be the fusion pistol I heard about. Oops. Save our game. 
We just earned the fusion pistol. <coughs> There's a terminal over here. We should probably talk to it. Hello. Marathon, is that you? There's been an unexpected lull in the fighting. I don't know exactly why, but it seems that the aliens have stopped third advanced. I want to use this break in the fighting to send a message to Earth, apprising uh, them of the situation. However, the long-range transmitter array has been destroyed. Of course it has. And you must manually reset the secondary transmitter. To do this, you will need to go into the G4 sunbathing landing station. It would be foolhardy to send you into vacuum conditions without a better vacuum-capable blank than your pistol. The AR-75 doesn't work in vacuum. I want you to find a Zeus-class fusion pistol. Done. <laughs> it has two firing modes. Standard firing eject blink volts and second day firing mode changes on bruiser transmission error and ejects a blast that does a huge amount of damage. X through the exception blah, bypassing through traffic. My records and sensors are becoming less reliable, but I believe that you should find a Zeus class fusion pistol at this location. Do not rely on it too much on this information that I have given you. It has been intercepted in transmission and I cannot verify its accuracy. I've already found it, so whatever. <laughs> Your accuracy was spot on, but spot of bother. Got some aliens over there. Let's test this fusion pistol out against something that has organs. Oops. It's decent. Alright, so some of the cyborgs are invisible now. Which, no big deal. Secondary firing does that weird sound and does the charge up shot. Which is neat. Ooh. This has a scope on it, I just realized. You can't use it though. That'd have been cool. Looks like Bungie was already thinking about that a long time ago. A save point. Just what we need. Because it looks like we reached our quota. <laughs> our time frame that I like to keep. Thank you all. We're going to do a little cut right here. Hopefully you all enjoy. Ewok Templar going through Marathon. I'm actually having a blast with this old school game. Uh, I, like, I like to see where their head was. The similarities to Halo. I'm loving it. And I'm learning more of the, the Marathon story. And, and where the similarities connect. And ideas that they had back then that made it into the... Halo games. But thank you all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. It's like he's trying to hug him to death. There you go. That separated them. It's like, dude, I'm trying to save you. It's not easy if you're going to be standing right next to the aliens I'm shooting at. Don't you know that they're your enemy and they kind of want to kill you? You think all the violent gunfire and the dead bodies everywhere have been a dead giveaway? Dead giveaway. <laughs>